Hello my friends, today we would be much more getting an insight of how to draw 3D characters, not really 3D but an illusion of 3D characters in Figma and I'll be showing you how I redrew this character using just Figma for everything from start to finish. So without any further ado or without wasting much of your time, let's get straight into this so i this is the figma file you can grab it in the figma community i think i'll leave a link in the description so you could also see every element that is in the design as you can see um so i'm going to show you the main uh page which is the page i titled illustration plus wireframes and these are the different steps that i took to achieving the final result which is the last ink so the first part is where you pretty much draw the wireframes and I'm going to show you how to do this it's not that easy but it gets easier with time and then from this stage which is the first one you get into the next stage all right so from this to the next one all right and the next one is the 2D phase. In the 2D phase, this is pretty much just adding colors to the different elements that or shapes that you have created or drawn in the wireframes. So this is where we color the character. And then from this phase, we modify it, adding some kind of effects. All effects are done inside of Figma. So with the use of these effects, would be able to turn this into this all right without wasting much of your time let's start drawing all right so i'm just going to grab this character i'm going to grab this particular one and i'll just duplicate it and just move it away from the rest of the item let's zoom out and just move that to the right and with this done i'm going to lock the frame let me title this uh, I'm just going to give this a title for now, say YouTube, alright, and then we are going to lock it. For now, I feel like let's just lock the old items inside. So I'm just going to press enter, you select all of the items inside and I would just press ctrl G to group everything into one layer and I will just lock it. Now this is locked. All right, so I can't, it won't disturb whatever we'll be doing. And I would zoom into the element. Now the first place I like to start my drawing, and I'm sure this is like um, a best practice for illustrators, because I don't do illustrations full time. I only do it for my hobby. So I'm not doing it to get paid anymore. Um, the first place you want to start is the base. Now the base, of the character is basically like a container you know when you want to do like a flyer design or a UI design you need a container and all the elements or contents would be inside of that container so all of the contents when it comes to this character would be the facial features the clothes whatever element you see here the hair everything would be inside of this base illustration which would be the container for this design. I know a lot of product designers will be coming to see this video so you would understand this a whole lot more. So the first base is all of these lines that go around um, the entire character coming through this way and just pretty much going around this. But one thing I love to do is I love to exclude the hair from the base character. Or the container all right so we're not going to be adding the hair to this so it's just going to be from the face to the body and just like that until we're done drawing that and then we can draw the hair on a separate layer all right so let's get straight into drawing that you're going to be using the pen tool solely for all of this this was drawn using the pen tool and then for some extra added elements I used the pencil tool to just add some extra element but let's get into the first base so i'm just going to press p on my keyboard so i can grab the pen tool 
and um, yeah we're gonna grab this but for now let's turn this element let's bring down the opacity a bit because I think I'll be making the background white so you guys can pretty much see it better I guess it would be much more better and I'll enlarge this so that it's not distracting zoom into this all right and with this we can now start drawing P on the keyboard uh, pen tool is here now so we're going to start from here so I'm going to just draw from this point click once uh, I'll come here to the ear and I'll click and drag so click and drag that all right and come back click on that dot where you click and drag to continue drawing if you don't do that this is what you're going to get this curved line and that's not what we want to do you see it's going to spoil what we're doing so come back to the last point click on it so that it resets this line and then we can use it for the rest of the drawing so we're going to do the same thing here all right and initially if you do it well um, you would be able to just curve it but since we didn't do it that well we're going to just reset the link by clicking back on the last point and then somewhere around here I'm just going to click and drag that right with that I will click V to just kind of edit move the, the this point um, a bit if you mistakenly click out just come back up here and click edit object or just double click on the line and it will open edit object so I'm just going to drag this line down a bit move this one upward bring this bit downward now this won't be that accurate all right remember I'm recording so this took a lot of hours to do so I am just going to uh, make it somehow very close to accurate all right so let's do this all right with this I would select the pen tool here you're going to see this done don't click done just click on the pen tool pen and then we can continue our drawing from here to somewhere here you can zoom out please use a mouse I use the mouse for this I don't have a drawing tablet so you use a mouse it's very effective all right with this I'll zoom out come to this point you need to master where to keep the point all right I've been able to know it I wouldn't say I've mastered it but I know exactly where to keep my points to get a good um, a, a, a somehow accurate line when trying to use the pen tool so you need to also practice that practice is everything so I'll come up here and I'll just draw it a bit upward and I'll end it there and come here click and drag a bit and with this one because the clothes would be kind of covering the element uh, all right because we'll be drawing this clothes on top of the base shape we can just continue click here and then we can finish it up with this last one so I'm just going to go beyond the canvas or the artboard for brand designers and I would draw this upward this way all right and just come up there and just do some minor fixes so V or you click on this and then you can just pretty much adjust it a bit and just get the same result all right so with that we can continue doing for the rest to end it where we started so I'll just come up here do this same so you can use the same process it's pretty much the same thing right so I may make this faster at this point when editing this video um, so let's come over here now that won't work so let's do it over here and and it's here and with that we can do it like, um, let's let's do it here let's just do it here right but you can just go straight to this point so when doing yours you can find any character online there are a lot of 
amazing artists online you can get and just ensure you give credit so they don't drag you on the internet all right so come here and just draw our stuff all right face here and uh, we'll just come here and just cover it cover it that way all right so we are done with the base shape so if i hide this guy you're going to see the base that's the base shape all right it's already taking shape so let's go on and continue with the next phase now this is the first thing you need to do but it's not the only thing you'll be doing so let's we're going to draw the hair last and that is because we we'll need to draw these elements of the face first before we can draw the hair if not the hair is going to cover some of the elements that we will be drawing all right uh, but let's let's start with the face so one of the key places i love to start from is the eyebrow so i'll just draw the eyebrow all right for this i'll just draw it um, pretty much straightforward you can take your time on yours all right but i would want to push this so that we get to the part where i have to turn this into 3d and just show you guys the ropes that will take you to that part so let's zoom in uh, i mean finish this there we have that eyebrow and i'm going to also show you a technique in let me show you a technique in carving elements when using the pen tool so you can see this point here it's really sharp and we don't want it to be that sharp all right but what you can do is double click or select and click on edit object then just draw a line to select that particular node these points are called nodes in design all right once you select that come here you're going to see radius corner radius you can now start increasing it so if you notice if you look closely you will see it curve it might not be that um, prominent in this one but you would see it in other ones right now it's curved I would show you a best a particular one that would work really well for what we want to use it for now the next thing is the eye so let's draw the eye I'm going to come here click on this base the base first because that will be below always draw draw with the sense of what is supposed to be below so the first things that will be below is this eyebrow section that is below the eyes so the eye the eye would be at the top and then the eyeballs and then the elements in the eye that causes a kind of reflection would be on top so those things will be the last the things that will be on top will be the last to draw and the things that will be below will be the first to draw so it's pretty much from top to bottom all right so we're going to do this uh, very quickly for this part we we'll just cover it all right you can just cover it and just practice practice is everything and come over here and do the same all right you have to pay attention to details all right so that's the base the first base which is a brown side now we need to draw the other part some people will duplicate it but i like to just have something really custom made so you can do this all right we have that up there and the same thing pretty much the same thing i know why i'm not forwarding this video uh because i want you guys to see all of this uh, and then yeah you can click done and then these other ones are pretty much very simple you just need to get out the circle tool which is o and just draw circles pretty much circles turn that on outline so that you can see what you're doing and then just draw your circle i'll show you how you can clip this so that it clips really well and not come in, uh, kind of disturb what you've drawn all right so we have that circle pretty much better we're going to duplicate it and reduce it and select it again duplicate it that is going to be for the other part this is going to be the brown this is going to be this other reddish part and this guy is going to be the one that stays inside that's the black you have on your eyes 
I'll duplicate it and just make it smaller. This is going to be for the first reflection over here. And this one is going to be for this other part here. All right. It's part of the reflection. All right. These other reflections you see that are almost orange or ingredient are secondary. They are the more advanced ones. So we're going to do those ones last. All right. So let's get on with the next eye. So I'll just come over here. There's like a line going this way so you could just do that with the pen tool very easily just draw that all right and then we can move on to the next eye and I just do this So that's done. I'll click on this and just adjust it a bit. And let's zoom in to that. We'll do the same for this guy. We'll come back and adjust it. Let's just keep on drawing. Alright, V, click on the node and just drag it downwards a bit. That way, this one, this way. These nodes are things that just make you adjust your uh, custom shape so you can just adjust it up down just practice um, do using it and it would be very much easy so for these circles you know what we're just going to grab it from here select this 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 and this and we we'll just duplicate that using alt just in case you don't know how to duplicate and we have that over there we're going to adjust the inner one so it's very much easy select this and this spin it around this way move it downwards select this spin it this other way and just like that leave it there all right cool do this guy just carve him there and we're done with the eye let's see what we have here so we are making progress all right let's continue we're going to do the eyeglass because the eyeglass is going to stay it's going to be like a stuff on top so but first before the eyeglass we're going to have to do this curve so let's get this and just kind of curve that bit all right follow that line somewhere around here curve that select this end it there all right so the eye is done let's get the glasses give it a stroke remove the feel so that you can see basically we're doing that just so we can see what we're doing all right enlarge this we're not using a perfect circle for this so feel free to adjust it the way you want all right we have this guy and we're going to select both of them duplicate and bring these guys over here that's perfect all right um, the eyeglass handle so you just put it over there let's zoom into that put it here 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 and here just ensure it's hidden somewhere all right the ear so this element in the ear to create that um, that depth in the ear uh, so this is basically what we're going to do all right I'm sure some persons will be asking uh, when you were small did you used to draw I used to draw when I was small. I had, in fact, I'm sure every person had that drawing book. I had like a drawing book where I had comics. You can you see what we've done? We've done that sharp, um, sharp point by increasing the radius. We've carved it. All right, so that's how you can do it. So I had that drawing book, and I used to, I used to draw a lot. I would get those uh, the good old days get those movie 
papers of animations. To date, I love animations. In fact, at some point, I felt like when I grew up, I wasn't going to love animations. I was going to start being serious and watching more of uh, <laughs> NTA news. <laughs> but yeah, I still I still watch animations. In fact, I just finished watching one, um, Rango. Very amazing animation. That's like the second time. I'm, oh, yeah, that's like the second time I literally had to look for that video. So I used to draw a lot. I I used to draw a lot. In fact, I even gave out one of my drawing book to my crush back then in um, in <laughs> in JSS two uh, community secondary school in Omasi. That was where I attended my secondary school. Um, I, from Jess 1 to Jess 2, so I had a crush and I gave her the drawing book to remember me. <laughs> remember me. So, yeah, I, 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 I used to draw. So, but it can obviously be learned. I did not know how to use the design tool. In fact, I had to push my limits to start using uh, Figma for pretty much things like this. So in as much as I'm telling you this story, please focus on what I'm also doing, alright? So that was how I started drawing, I would sketch on paper, I, I would draw by sketching on, on um, what's it called, on <laughs> the movie papers. So at this point in the mouth, you would want to click here, I'm just going to show you how I round this, I'll click here, click, you see how it's the the flow how it looks like a mountain so i'll just click and just follow it i don't need to do so much for this part i would curve it i'll curve this part and i'll end it there now for this other part all you just need to do is click on it and just you know i told you already so click on it and just curve that curve the radius and you just have that sweet curve all right those are some of the tips and tricks of using the pen tool so this is how you can adjust it and just have something pretty much smooth i guess that's smooth enough all right and we're going to have some other elements inside so i'm going to leave those elements for now like the one the demarcating the mouth would we'll have to clip it so when I get to that point would we'll clip it let's continue from here so the nose we're going to draw it this way would we'll have to cuff this one there's no magic to this one all right and go this way and let's see if we'd we'll have something smooth it won't be that smooth so let's just curve it of it here and end it there now this one is not that smooth so let's zoom in and just do our magic you know what we do select this other guy is not that smooth and just pretty much increase it to any number all right that's smooth we have to just draw this other guy so I'm going to draw this guy that is under coming this way right and this way all right and we can end this dude over there right so that's pretty much the face for now the other things are adding more more kind of more elements to just give like an illusion of uh, the eye looking um, 3d all right but let's reduce this other guy inside of the glasses all right and uh, there's a guy going this way so i'm just going to draw him going this way curve that dude all right and then here and here and somewhere here and then we can end this dude here all right so that's it now let's get the neck so for the neck i just draw a shape 
going from here to somewhere around there cuff that it can go beyond the line that's why we had to draw the base because we use it as a max for some of these things all right so we have this that is done for now not completely done and then let's draw the shirts we're not going to draw the all the details i just hope you guys watch this to the end all right and i just cuff these parts now i'm drawing the shirt so zoom in a bit cuff this other guy and uh yeah somewhere around here cuff that dude this place in here and we'll carve this dude so let's carve him completely let me see if that works yeah it does work so we're done with that side we'll come over to this side you know what let's hold on first draw this line uh, just straight line come here of this line this way come here carve this click out come in here and we're done with that guy all right for this other guy we're going to do the same thing from here to this point carve that just cover it, cover it. <laughs> All right, and we'll cover this guy. Go this way, and then come this way. You see how I did that? <laughs> Very smooth. All right, click that. Come here, here. Bring him over here. All right, cover that dude click here come here click as well just like that just trying to keep you guys company <laughs> that's why I'm still kind of talking All right and this guy cough this guy as well okay and would we'll end I think we ended him already <laughs> all right done let me see yeah that's it all right so let's have that inner line like that swing i'm just going to start it pretty much at the beginning and let's have this this way this way ah. let's go up a bit center all right that's it all right this center part pretty simple just come from here and put that outside you can even use a square square tool to do this and just cover it somewhere around here and that's that you know I've done a video on this before drawing in Figma but I didn't go I didn't do so much in that video all right so you may also want to check that out I think I'll leave it somewhere in this video for you to see that was when I drew balls balls from Toy Story inside of Figma so you can check that out as well right so this other guy from here somewhere around here just cough that I'm sure by now you know how to do this but don't skip because there are things I'll be saying in between that may help you right 
Okay, so we're done with that guy. We need to get this breast. And to get this breast is pretty much easy. So I'll just come here and just draw a curve. <laughs> curve. And that's that. Oh, let's do that again. I want it to be really curvy. <laughs> okay, uh, and we'll end that there. All right, so it there's a shadow effect I added there, so it makes it look like the breast is pumped. Uh, if you look at the other one that we had over here, you can see that's breast stuff. Uh, there, I'm just going to reduce this frame a bit, zoom into it. All right, so at the moment, I think we've made so much progress, right? So we will just do it for this guy. All right, somewhere here and somewhere here. And I will just draw a line going like, like this. All right, and... Um, that's pretty much what is on this. The other ones are like little lines I drew and elements um, I drew to add more details. And then this flowery stuff that the, the design, the stuff I drew had. Um, so the buttons, let's have the buttons. So circle first. All right, give that a stroke, close out the fill. Use that to duplicate it. And like this all right and with the pen tool you can just draw a line that's all enter select all three of them group it all right because we will do some duplicating so put it here just spin it around and put it here as well and also spin that guy so it's not just looking like it's the same thing Okay, so this is cool. Let's draw the hair. So come here. Now the hair is in two place. Two. We have two different elements for the hair. The one that is on top of the face, like this part, and the one that is behind the hair. And then the one on top of the face also has another one that goes across to cover this top uh, forehead area. So we're going to draw the two in different ways so the first one we're going to draw and send it to the back and the other one we're going to draw and leave it at the front all right so for the first one let's start um, let's start here i'm going to start here and i'll just curve that all right and just curve it again right, it's not going to be that accurate so i'm just going to be fast with this one all right, cover it there and sorry about that. Okay, from here, cover that that way, and then we're going to bring it over here and just pretty much end it here and then cover it. Going this for the back, so we'll come over here and just curve it this way and curve this other guy. Yep, all right, we'll end it at this ear and then just do it inside the ear bits. It's going to come over here. Over here, obviously, it's going to be at the back, so there's no need 
need to panic. Alright, so this other guy from here will cover it a bit, just a bit, just ensure it's inside of the line, and then we can draw this other guy. Right. Cover it a bit. Come here. Curve. You know what? You know what we do. Come here. Nah. Click. Come here. Here. And cover that a bit. Right. And end that there. Now we have the first hair, second hair. So we're going to take this and just do the second part. Okay. And we're going to curve it up there to create that slope. And somewhere around here. Okay, and we are done. The other lines, you see those hairs that we may have that just won't join the group, these single ones. I just pencil tool, you can use the pencil tool to just like, you know, just do that, but we'll get to that. So we are done with all the base uh, drawing that we need to do. We need to take this to the next step. All right, let's see what we have. All right, we have, what we need for now the next step is where we color this and we need to add more details to this all right so you can hear my fingers cracking <laughs> all right so let's let's start coloring this shortly but first let's add more details like to the mouth area this curve so we're going to add this curve and you're just going to pretty much send it outside you don't need to do so much this is where you add the details so for the details i'm going to select both of them and go to use as max so use both of them as max sorry we need to add color to them and then use as max i'm so sorry about that that's not what we're supposed to do all right so we'll duplicate this duplicate the mount add a color we have it two now you can see the second one is beneath it the second one would also add a color as well and with this one we'll add this one add a color to it select uh, both of them and do use as max now it's inside and there's one beneath it uh, let's find that one all right so there's one beneath it that was below it Let's find it and we're going to add it into that same box. Yeah, that's it. Send it to the top and then move it into the box. Alright, cool. Now we have our mount element where the top one being this, we can change to another color and anything we do will just remain inside of this max. Now let's label it. Come here and type mount right perfect okay the nose is okay don't need any extra thing um, we need to now have the base color but before we have the base color if we have like a base color it covers everything come on so first things first let's do the ones on top so we're going to start with the eyes uh, we're going to 
raise back the opacity to 100 all right so we can see the actual colors all right even though it's going to be now distracting but let's do this so select remember how to color this now when drawing it you're going to start from the ones below those ones to start first but when coloring it you're going to have to start from the ones on top because we color this one below it covers everything so we won't see what we're coloring except you're drawing an original piece then you can start from anywhere all right so we're going to start from the ones on top which is this white so change that to white we're going to use white um, that's F F F F F. all right remove the stroke do that for the eye um, that would be brown so I what I do is I just close out the stroke with my pen to I'll just pick the eye and that's pretty much what I'll be doing for all of them close this out and pick this part this is going to be a gradient so we're going to do gradient and then the top part is going to be a bit darker uh, then the down part is going to be light in this one I like to make it even more lighter all right and then the final one within the eye is this other darker part cool that's amazing all right and then the eye itself and this other brown which is which is like a gradient so put it put this here and just make this a bit darker increase that color then this one i think it was a bit light so this is the color over here pick that and that is that is that all right let's do this for this one so i'll just go ahead and color it you can just uh follow along For this one, we want to create just, you can either use a stroke or use two shape. Uh, so I want to create like this, an extraction so that the middle of the color, if I give it two colors this way, all right, send this to the back and I select both of them. I want to give it like a boolean, use the boolean group and just create like a subtraction. So it subtracts it and gives me this tiny one part. All right, with the tiny part selected, I'll just close out the boot and just choose that brown that we had. All right, and that is that. And we still have to do something about this guy. So we we'll duplicate this guy, make him brown, and just enlarge that guy a bit to cover that entire space. And that's that, send it to the back. And we're heading somewhere if we look at this now we should have done something yeah so this other part close that out and just choose that light shade and we'll send it to the back as well all right that way sadly all right so we have this and we're going to do the same <laughs> we're going to come to the eye don't worry and we we'll do the same if i let's do the eye now so i'm going to select this duplicate it select that and every other thing inside of it so let's do this this somewhere around here over here here i think this is where it is okay so let's just select it manually select this this group that select this this and this yeah 
just this and this, ungroup that, then group that, then select this, which also have a second one. So we'll just select this and this and turn that into a max. And then this is the eye here, this other one, so just drag it into the max. And um, that's not what we're supposed to use. So delete this, open this guy, I think that is the guy. Bring this guy out, yeah, cool. All right, so with this guy, duplicate the guy, select both of his party and then drag this one inside but it was supposed to be on the second one not on the first one now this marks will now be left eye right that's that do the same for this guy so it's pretty much easy select this guy this guy will be white this other one will be this color This, 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 this one, this. Okay. Okay. And then this one moving one step. Okay, cool. Duplicate this. First thing first, let's select all of this and group them select this one duplicate it select both of itself use as max select this one and move it into that max and that's it that would be arrow i as right i all right we're making a lot of progress cool really cool Right, for this guy, just going to take care rid of this. This was for the entire body, so I'm going to pick this and this guy. Yeah, just get rid of that and choose this. Yep, and that's that. Progress. Right, so let's continue this other guy. Don't choose black, just choose the dark part. Right is on top. This part. This part would come soon. But first, let's have our ear. Nah, so let's have the ear, the one inside first. This one. It's a gradient, so have to be careful there gradient this part would be a bit dark just increase that then for this other one we're going to choose the lighter color and send him to the back and with that we'll do for this other guy close that out choose this brown there's some reflection yeah so you need to study the light source and uh, the shadow source all right so we have that we have the pin around the head so you can draw that if you're doing yours but because of the time it's already 48 minutes gone all right so let's continue um so we have pretty much what we need um this other part would do the hair all right cool and send that hair to the back right and these other guys here close this out add this color select this close it out add this color uh, we can modify that pretty much later uh, we're supposed to do the these guys first select the inner ones close that out choose dark Right, these other ones would be a gradient. So let's pick the dark part first, give it a gradient, and then for the top, it's going to go up a bit. Why this one will be 
block. All right, and send it to the back one step. All right, and that's that. And then with that, do for this one as well. Okay, making a lot of progress. Let's do the same for this guy. Alright, and uh, yeah, that's looking really, really cool. Alright, so there's a base for this shed, so we have to do the base. So, what I will do is I will just duplicate the base shape. Alright, I'll do this, take a point from here, from this one here, and draw it to this point and then with V I'll take out the top part so we don't need this part anymore we don't need this top part for it right and that's it so you don't need to redraw it I don't know if you understand so you don't need to redraw it you see what I've done that's what you basically have to do take this out and just choose just choose one color for it. Send it to the back and send this base color to the back as well. And the other hair, we'll send it to the back. All right, to send things to the back, you can either right click and do um, bring to front or send to back. But I'm using the shortcut so you can see the shortcut. If you want them to go one step at a time, hold control, select it. Uh, hold control and that bracket and it's just move one step at a time All right, you can look at this part if I do control um, If I select something and I do control you see it going if you look at the Layer area you see it going one step at a time But if I just press that bracket, it will just take it straight up straight down All right, so let's see what we have All Right cool this is cool All right so we have some other things to add to this so first let's now get out the base color so the base color is this we have a shape that would be going around here so let's do that as well don't worry you can draw this ones anyhow let's select that color for it send it to the top all right and the base color select it close this out and choose something yeah we've done that now it's time to move this guy to the side so we're going to select this unlock it and just move it to the side all right, select everything and everything selected, just center it. Okay. All right, so we have this. We have the 2D version at the moment. It's not really 2D version because there's something we need to do. So if we select this, we didn't even draw the second eye. So let's just do that and just drag it into the other one. In fact, Let's just select it and just move it out of this and just put it there all right i'm going to just use this to drag it in a bit and that's that all right so we've colored that one let's color this other one close this out you know what let's draw this it's going to give us some time some hard time so let's draw this so this 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 and just end it here. all right get rid of the other one close this out and choose this color and that's that all right, so we have the base. So let's choose the base. We're going to duplicate the base. And by duplicating that, we're going to select this and this other one. And we'll do 
use as max. Now we have we have a proper base. Alright, so every other thing is actually going to be inside of this base. So we're going to choose this, 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 all of this is going to be inside the base. So I'm going to group it. And we didn't name the base, so let's name this one suit. Right? And this one is going to where's the base? It's going to be the base. So where's the suit? Left suit, right suit. Oh sorry about this. This is this has to be locked. The suit and this is base. So let's send the suit downwards and just move it in here. This base would also go with it. So we've moved that. The hair, send the hair to the back. So that's pretty much the 2D. This other one will go behind it. Uh, on top to come on top and this guy let me stick it step by step so we select this suit so we'll just break it so that this guy can go one step at a time here so this should work alright let's just adjust this a bit and this a bit and just bring this in a bit this way and it's pretty much it so there's another guy will come to the top and that's the 2d so now you're not going to do anything to this 2d uh, we have to also draw there's a shape we need to draw that will go around the hair so let's draw that first and then we can move to the next phase so i'll just draw that going around this way and somewhere around here and end that somewhere here start and that would be black all right let's choose this other black I like it gives it one harmony all right there's a shape going around here so let's just draw that from here to somewhere shape the base so the base shape you can see everything just moves out and in so that helps us a lot a whole lot so let's put that here sorry about that put that here and then adjust it a bit for this one we have and let's choose that color from the other one looks like pink all right so that's the base um, the other eye um, so we'll grab this and this turn that into this close out the fill send it to the top and subtract sorry Rem always ensure that the other one that is the smallest is on top so we'll subtract that and we have we have this choose this black and this other eye has like that reddish stuff all right so i'm going to do the same thing select these two guys move them in here 
here. Okay. Um, this other guy. This guy has to be in this space. So move him this way. And that's that. So that we have that curve that cuts across. The color is not supposed to go beyond that point. We have this guy to contend with. Moving a bit inside. We use this. And we don't see any mishappening. Okay. So this is the base. Um, the next phase, let's touch all these lines. Turn them into this dash. So select all the lines and click here. This is one hour gone, and I'm doing this straight. I'm not cutting and joining. Right. Uh, yeah, and we're going to choose the dark shade of this. So pick the color here and just bring it down a bit. And yeah, this other guy will just take up this color so it looks more like one. And let's send him a bit downwards. Yeah, cool. Cool. Select these two guys and pick the same color. And they now look like one. Right. Alright. Right, this guy would be this color, but just slightly dark eye bits. Okay, and so our 2D is ready. So let's take this a step further. Now, always keep your 2D aside. Don't joke with it because there might be issues in the other one you're going towards and you may have to come back to your 2d all right so keep your 2d illustrations aside and work with the other ones now with that said let's enlarge this let's just enlarge it a bit select all of this and duplicate it all right with that done we'll select all of these and group it and call this 2d and then we'll lock it this other one is locked so we'll call this one old right and that's pretty much it send it backwards select this send it backward as well both of them should stay at the down part and so we need to start drawing all right so let's let's use this one for the 2d let's use this one 2d Lock this, lock this, and send this to the back. All right, so this is the one we'll be working with. All right, now the magic happens. In order for you to have all of these illusions and everything, you need to add more shapes to your 2D uh, illustration that would now uh, give you pretty much what you need uh, to make your design come to life. All right, so to add those shapes you need to start by blurring things out a bit so that you can be able to tell what shapes you may need to add all right so let's start with the neck so I'm going to start with the neck go to effects click on layer blur so that's the magic click on layer blur and just blur that a bit out you're going to adjust all of this gradually so we're just going to take this guy and just moving very close to this other one so that I can see both of them at the same time. All right, I'm using my laptop for this, so it's a bit smaller. So with that, I would blow these guys, select both of them, choose effects, and just blow them. All right, don't worry, very soon you start seeing this come to life and um let's now focus on the face all right so i'm going to pick pick all of this and just move it a bit more closer all right so let's focus on the face so for this inner guy 
think that should be the brown guy. There's the brown guy, and then the other one. We're going to blow that one a bit. Layer blow. I just blow that a bit, just a bit. This way, and we'll blow this one as well. And you can just set a custom blow when you found the value, and just select it so that I don't have to keep doing this manually right and we'll do the same for these guys blow them all right we've had that soft illusion now we need to draw the forehead there's a color we need to add there so we'll come here because we're going to be changing the base color shortly so come here come over here somewhere around here and and that over there right close that out and choose this light color and the back and then the base color we're going to choose something else no not that something like this make it a gradient or the down one we can leave it dark and the upper part with that a bit light right So we're going to add another circle in here. Select that, select the base, paste it in there, and something like this. Just adjust it. What we're basically doing is just adding more details, all right? So you add more and more details to get out better results. Without the details, you're never getting any better results. Select this down part somewhere. Also make it around two to four let's see let's make that four for now and uh, here we have some dots that would be somewhere around here 
close to the mouth and on the other side as well select both of them give them that brown and you know what to do blow that out here that's seven blow of seven and would we'll blow this contour the forehead if that's what the ladies call it i don't know <laughs> uh, we'll blow that out to give it a blend and then we'll add more shapes to the forehead let's cut that and put that in, in here where is it somewhere around here send that to the top This guy, the side. Cool. Right, round that. Choose that light color. You can see. Make it a bit more lighter. And blow that guy. Alright, so time to add more shapes. I'm going to select this and from there we're going to draw just fill up this jaw part. As we can see some constructing shapes. Choose that dark shade and let's see what we can do there. So blow that guy. We're going to blow that a lot change the color to this other darker one and we're beginning to see the effect i'm sure you guys are seeing it over there and we would have to do some things to the mouth so we're going to have to get something around here just add details these details create the illusion All right close this out choose that light color All right and press enter and bring that in a bit to the mouth let this guy be inside the mouth All right make that a bit lighter all right and choose the blur and just blur that out a bit we're going to do the same for this area we're going to make that other this other part much more darker close that out and choose that dark very dark one right zoom into that and do the same just slightly not so much but this part would make it a gradient so the down part stays the up part comes slightly darker all right yeah makes sense so the base which is this would be a gradient as well down part I'm going to make it something like this and this guy would now blow it a bit All right I think we are, we're done with that um, there's a no straight stuff here so we'll just do that as well so we would have to draw something going this way this way that way something like a lighting right cut that put it inside this main shape bring it up here right something like this close that out Choose that very light color. 
blow it out a bit and then we'll just have that circle I just kind of draw something like this 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 for the nose that shadow I choose that color you can see would we'll keep adding elements that were not even in the 2d right those elements will create the illusion so if we look at both of these now I'm sure they're way different both of these are way way different All right um, so add the shadow stuff to this it's like a darker shade of that brown so we just choose that brown and I mean it's almost like red well we just choose a darker shade remove the blur we don't need the blur and just leave it at that that's that for that and uh, yeah I'm going to copy this paste it in the main shape so I don't forget its position and then I'll select the other one to get rid of it and this one is just going to cut across this way and that's that for that okay and uh, the sky yeah, choose this and this and just blow them let's use like two all right and um, yeah that's pretty much it can just add more stuff to this to blow it a bit add a lighter color send that to the back here and just blow that give it some effect just like that yeah just like that they still require some edgy effects this one will be the shadow effect all right let's have that choose the dark shade that would be the shadow move this upward obviously it can be on top of the color so send it to the back and put it up a bit it's going to be beneath that and we can now blow that out a bit that's it and this other guy remove the dash from it Raise it a bit and then blow him out a bit like that. This other guy is going to have some shapes beneath him, so I just duplicate the shape and just move it out a bit like this and send it below. And choose that dark shade and with that we can blow that out okay and this other guy we can move it in a bit like this like this Enter, select this guy, choose this color, and, uh, choose this guy, which is the opacity bit, and that's that. For that, all right, this other guy, I'm just going to give it a gradient, the down part. And the center, so the center is going to bring it up a bit this way, 
and the down part will be much more darker this will just be bit something like this and that's that for that for this guy this guy and this guy are supposed to be in this so they have to leave this base and stay on their own yeah and the same thing happens here as well we will come back to that all right so you would have a drop shadow which would be darker so send out one step all right so I, basically what i did was just duplicate it and use this move this guy forward all right and that's that for that one we'll do the same with this other guy just move him out as well from this duplicate this bring it downwards and pick the color send it one step backwards and bring this in this way and uh, this in and that's that we need to draw some shapes around here shadow from the suit right that is the color give it a blow and that's that we'll do it for this other side as well have to choose a harmony for this new color so pick this and take it downwards a bit find that darker shade yeah effect layer blow blow that guy out a bit that's it for that we need some patch here so just draw a like patch something like that and pick that layer blow yeah that's so solid all right these guys we're going to have to duplicate him select him this guy and just put him yeah in the frame and with that we can draw some things inside them something like this give it color send that to the top and pick that light shade and just blow that you know and do the same if you don't use the pen tool inside of the inside of the marks when you select the max just when you select the max I'll, I'll do that again so I'll show you guys what I I'm doing and that's why what I'm doing is staying inside of the max if not you would have to keep moving it into the max let's blow this one out alright so I want to draw this other one so select the max what you have to do is select the max this is the max let's call this left shoulder select the max click on the pen tool and draw if you don't select the max and you're going to see it's at the top of inside of the max inside of the max 
so whatever I draw stays inside of that max like this All right so that gives you a very effective way to do your addition of of more um, was called of more details uh, to create that 3d effect so do the same somewhere around here I think somewhere around here needs something like that as well choose just choose this dark stuff yes blow that out right Right. Uh, so let me move that where it is done. Alright, so the shadow for this center one, select it, duplicate it, move it out a bit, select the dark shade and just move it to the back, let's bring that more darker, and we can add like two step, or one step blur. Alright guys, so that is how you can pretty much turn anything. Let's select this, just move it closer to its beam. Alright, so guys, that's how you can pretty much turn any object into 3D inside of Figma. You can keep on adding more and more details, but if I keep doing this, it's going to take a whole lot of time. This is 1 hour 27 minutes gone. And I don't want this video to get to two hours, all right? Because I also have things to do, all right? So I, I definitely will see you guys soon. But this is pretty much how you can turn anything inside of Figma into 3D, and this is exactly how you can draw as well. I did not cut and join this video, so it's just a straightforward thing. So you see how this is done. Uh, we didn't do the ears, so you can just blow out the ears. It's pretty much the same process. You can just select that and yeah you can just have some kind of minor blur going around there and that's it that's it guys so guys i would see you guys very soon and if you have any questions drop them in the comment section and i definitely would attend to it all right i'll see you guys soon and until next time Take care and keep creating magic. Bye for now.